Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Never accept his loss. My son still lives, I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my four out? <laughs> Do you believe this old hat? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Carl. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloak traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to I be said be here. Petty thievery. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Just one more thing the Grey Manes want to blame on others. It's not my fault they turned their backs on the Empire, or their mule of a son raised arms against it. And yet, they want to heap the fault on my family's good name? Ah! Battleborn is a name out of legend, sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For Clan Battleborn, they cry in the mead halls, first into the fray and last to quit their ale. We've got honor, wealth, and titles too, aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now, if that don't answer your question, then no words will. Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and, depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that. But it's one thing to take pride in your lineage and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. Money, you laggard, what else? It always comes down to coin. The Grey Manes have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich, <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it too, all their big talk of pride and honor. What have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. The difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. More bad blood between the houses. Fralia is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battles born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Had enough of fish and fowl. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Avrostein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? I know that Thorold's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him, and are keeping him somewhere, but I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. 
There's got to be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself, so I need your help. Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive, I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. The Battleborns, the Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. He's my son. I just... I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. It's hardly a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thorald did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. Huh. They put on airs like there's something special. Oh, sure. They've got money, but they ain't got a shred of honor between them. Grey Mane. Huh. Now that's a name fills you with pride. We've got roots in White Run. We've got history. Thorold's disappearance has left our family in shambles. wasn't gone. I just knew it. Please, get that to Adelstein right away. I knew it. Let me see. Please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. Are you sure? I doubt you stand a chance against the Thalmor. I can have a group of men ready at a moment's notice. Many would be willing to help rescue my brother. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Halt! That's privileged information. Now, move along. Are you joking? Even if we had a prisoner by that name, the only way he'd be released is by order of the Imperial Legion. Now I suggest you turn around and go back the way you came. Until next time.
You there. What are you doing? I never thought I'd see another friendly face again. We need to get to safety as soon as possible. Let's move. I'm not sure. At first they accused me of being a Stormcloak, a secret Talos worshipper. They wanted a confession. To what didn't matter. They simply wanted me to admit to something. I think they wanted to break me, use me as a way to get to the rest of the Greymane family. I gave them no such pleasure. Gods, I've lost count of the days. It feels like an age has passed. I wish I could believe that I'd have held out forever against their torture, but I can't be so sure. Now thanks to you, I needn't worry anymore. Let's go, let's go! I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from this place. I suspect I'd never again see the light of day otherwise. But why would you risk your life for me, a stranger? Of course, I should have known. This was all Avelstein's idea, wasn't it? Where is he? A wise decision, but I fear he may not be safe there anymore. They'll go looking for me, and Whiterun will be the first place they search. I cannot stay. Not here. Not in Whiterun. It likely won't be safe for Avelstein either. Our best hope now is to fall in with the ranks of the Stormcloaks. But would you do me a favor? Tell my mother to suffer the winter's cold wind. For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. She'll know what it means. I thank you again, friend. You've given me my life back. You look awful. Better not get me sick. We Grey Manes got just as much to be proud of as them battle boards. But you won't see us with our noses in the air. Please tell me you have news of my son. Is he? You've saved him? Oh, I must see him at once. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth and not just what I want to hear? For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. So it's true then. For now it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. I'd had the Orland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorold can come home. Dragon, it is my honor to stand before you. <laughs> 